Then together, standing united, we will go forward to defeat Donald Trump, the most dangerous president in modern American history. I wish I could give you better news, but I think you know the truth. And that is that we are now some 300 delegates behind Vice President Biden, and the path toward victory is virtually impossible. So while we are winning the ideological battle, and while we are winning the support of so many young people and working people throughout the country, I have concluded that this battle for the Democratic nomination will not be successful. And so today, I am announcing the suspension of my campaign. But as I see the crisis gripping the nation, exacerbated by a president unwilling or unable to provide any kind of credible leadership and the work that needs to be done to protect people in this most desperate hour, I cannot in good conscience continue to mount a campaign that cannot win and which would interfere with the important work required of all of us in this difficult hour. The fight for justice is what our campaign has been about. The fight for justice is what our movement remains about. Today, I congratulate Joe Biden, a very decent man, who I will work with to move our progressive ideas forward. On a practical note, let me also say this. I will stay on the ballot in all remaining states and continue to gather delegates. While Vice President Biden will be the nominee, we must continue working to assemble as many delegates as possible at the Democratic Convention, where we will be able to exert significant influence over the party platform and other functions. Then together, standing united, we will go forward to defeat Donald Trump, the most dangerous president in modern American history. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's April 9th. Since this broke after I shot my videos for the 8th, I just wanted to touch on this briefly, and I've talked about Bernie in the past, and Biden as well. I've been extremely harsh in the past with my critique of Bernie Sanders, and this will be no different. Bernie Sanders is a loser. He's always been a loser, and if you're somebody out there who supports him, I see you as a loser as well. I'm just being honest. But it doesn't have to be that way. Things change. People change. There's been individuals in politics that I've believed up until I've seen things that made me start to question, <laughs> you know, start to question myself and my support of that particular candidate. Now, as I've said in other videos, I strictly keep it apolitical. I'm not involved in politics. I don't vote. I don't do any of that stuff anymore because I felt like that wouldn't allow me to be unbiased in my critique. I just come from a position of where I am and the things I believe in. There's different camps of individuals that support Bernie. There's individuals who think he's some kind of revolutionary. Again, he's a fake. He's a phony. He's never done anything revolutionary within what, what would you say, the last 30, 40 years? When has he done anything revolutionary in Congress? No. He's a career politician, collected millions of dollars, of government salary, let that sink in. What more evidence would you need to know that somebody isn't a revolutionary than somebody that's been sucking on the government teeth for how long? How long? When did this guy, is there a Bernie supporter alive? Um, there may be a few, but is there one alive that actually was around when this guy actually had a real job and wasn't suckling on the government teeth? I understand power structure and how you try to generate change from within. I totally get that if that's your argument, but you have to look yourself in the mirror and you have to be honest. Like I said in my videos, those were around Super Tuesday when Joe Biden mopped the floor with him. I was saying, Bernie fans, it's just a matter of time. This guy's gonna bend over for Joe Biden and grab his ankles just like he did for Hillary Clinton back in 2016. That's not a revolutionary. If you think he's progressive, what has he ever done that's progressive? Name something anything that he's accomplished. Be honest with yourself because an individual can say anything. Anybody can talk that talk. Cortez is the same way. Look at her now. Oh, I'm so progressive. I'm going to do this, this, and this. What has she ever done? 
granted, she has these spats and these moments with Pelosi where she tries to lash out and act progressive, but the reality is once somebody gets elected, and here's what you need to know if you're out there and you're one of these individuals that's like, Bernie, I'm a Bernie bro, uh, Bernie or bust, you know, I'm not voting for Biden. Yeah, we'll see about that. There are some of you that won't, but I bet you that most of these individuals that are there supporting Bernie Sanders, they'll bend over and take a Biden right up their 2020, if you know what I mean. Back to Cortez and individuals of that type. Whenever you have a politician, let's not even call him a politician, let's just say somebody gets elected. Whenever you have somebody that gets elected, it's like that. Instantly, what's the only thing they're thinking about? Re-election. There you have it. Same with Cortez. Now that she sees that her seat is in trouble, possible redistricting, all these challengers, who knows if she actually would lose in her primary. That's coming up in June if they still do it. But individuals like that are fake. They're phonies. They go in with this message, sell you that bill of goods, sit there and get elected to office collecting government money off of your dime. You're the one who contributed to their campaign. You're the one who went out there and did the work so they can get elected. And when they get in office, what happens? What do they do for you and your progressive ideologies? Not a damn thing. It's as simple as that. You can hate on the video and give it a thumbs down. It's fine. But you know I'm right. And this video, again, like I said, this is mainly just for progressive types and Bernie supporters, but I said it a month ago. I said it two months ago. He's a phony. The moment he drops out, this fake fight that he's fighting against the establishment and the billionaires, not the millionaires anymore, but this fake fight that he's fighting, no, he's going to bend over, take it up to Biden, and he's going to endorse, which he did already. Oh, let's join together and take down Donald Trump. We're going to take down Donald Trump. Yeah, sure. Maybe Biden wins. It doesn't matter to me who wins. Either way, I'm protected because the only thing I know is that the market wouldn't like Bernie as president. The market, you know, investing, the economy, stuff like that, they don't care whether Biden wins or whether Trump gets reelected. And my own personal economy, I'm pretty insulated regardless of who wins. So ultimately, it kind of doesn't matter because I know it's politics as usual. If Biden gets in there, all the stuff he claims he's going to do, I don't know that I see much of that happening just because of the way the power structure is set up. You know, the whole checks and balances thing, the three branches of government. And again, if Trump gets reelected, some of the stuff he'll come out with in terms of his campaign promises this time around, I don't know how much of that would move forward either, simply because of, like we said, who controls the Senate, who controls Congress. That may change, of course, in 2020. And there are micro-level things that happen that allow for Trump to advance his cause. Like the ability he has to appoint individuals to federal positions, federal judgeships, stuff like that, micro-level stuff that adds up over time. That certainly would change if Biden came into office, the Supreme Court as well. Because if Trump wins, you know, Bader, Bader Ginsburg is not going to make it another four years. She might not even make it another four months. She's just hanging on for dear life. My own personal economy, it probably wouldn't be impacted regardless of who wins. So ultimately, it doesn't matter in that regard. I know a lot of you individuals will feel strongly about Trump or Biden. Or this is for Bernie fans again and progressive types like that. I'm not advocating for that kind of position because my lifestyle isn't going that direction in terms of like a lot of things they stand for and my beliefs aren't shared with them. But if you're some individual who's out there and considers yourself a progressive. That's what I've said so many times. Bernie Sanders isn't your guy. You might think he's a step in the right direction, but he's a phony. And I come back to it. It's simple. It's the simplest argument. And I'll leave it here. There was a time, maybe in the 70s, when he was something, when he was out there, right? When he was out there going to Russia, having his honeymoon, and he was talking about this and that. Communism is great. I'm a socialist, right? That was cool, man. He was great. He was out there back then. How many of you were alive back then? How many of you actually remember that? That are his fans. Now, he's nothing. All he cares about is getting reelected and cashing that government check every month, just like the rest of them. So that's me railing on him. But again, that could be me taking a swipe at anybody who's a career politician. So take that how you want. But he'll bend over. He'll be out there bending over for Biden. Elizabeth Warren will be out there bending over for Biden. Cory Booker, Beto, 
Kabbalah, whomever, wherever you think they fall in terms of your progressive ideology, they're all phonies. Tulsi, we'll see what's going to happen with her <laughs> and her 1% of support, but they're all going to bend over for Biden. But you always have to ask yourself, is the fix in with these people, right? Are they selling me a bill of goods, wolf tickets, so to speak? You got used to get them elected, to get them power, and now they're doing nothing with it. That's all I've got. And you can say that on either side. You can say that of Democrats or Republicans as well, but it'd be more directed at individuals like this who are making these grandiose promises, and nothing comes of it. But again, those are my thoughts about Bernie. I'm sure I'll have others. Thank you for listening to my rant, everybody. What do you think of Bernie Sanders? Is he a winner? Am I wrong? Am I seeing this wrong? <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for watching the video. Take care. Have a good evening.